I am so excited to be here with you all for HFR's HBCU Fashion Summit. My name is Kalia Braxton. I am a proud graduate of Spelman College, class of 2016, and I'm currently sitting as the Branded Entertainment Strategy Manager at Condé Nast, where I oversee Branded Entertainment for our style division. So I know that was long-winded. Let's just get into it. Basically, what I do is I help brands come to my organization, which is Condé Nast Entertainment, and figure out where and how to strategically create branded content and where to place it. So our style division includes Vogue, GQ, Glamour, Allure, and Vanity Fair magazines. And basically my day-to-day -day is responding to RFPs, which are requests for proposals. They, they, this is when brands come to us and say, hey, we're Prada, we wanna work with Vogue, how do we do that? And then I come up with the strategy on how does that get done? Where does it get placed? Where does it live? And so that's what my day-to-day -day looks like on average. Uh, of course, the other things that come up like client meetings, sitting on calls with the client, helping them figure out what they actually wanna do. But um, most of the time I'm strategically figuring out, are we on TikTok? Are we on YouTube? Is it going on Instagram? How do we do that? You want to talk to 18 to 22 year olds. How do you get them to do that? Um, and I am always working with beauty and fashion brands. Um, that is what the style division includes. So now that we got that out the way, let's just jump into it. How did I get into my field? Well, here's the truth. After graduating Spelman, I came back to um, New York. That's where I'm from. And I didn't have a job. And I was an intern for HFR and Brandis basically told me, just come to the conference and help out. Well, I went to her conference at the time. It was the Great Girlfriends Conference. And guys, like I was just volunteering. I was also trying to be at my mother's house because she was already annoyed with me for not having a job after coming home. Um, and while there, I was just my authentic self. And I was introduced to a woman that worked at L'Oreal. And um, she told me to send her my resume. I sent her my resume. I had a slew of interviews and I ended up getting a role. And so it wasn't in fashion, it was in beauty, but working at L'Oreal in this role just exposed me to like another side of this wonderful industry. So I just, I let the ball roll, you know? I started off at L'Oreal. Then I said, oh, I get corporate America. I'm starting my own thing. Became an entrepreneur. And I was like, okay, wait, I need more training jump back in. Um, and when I jumped back into corporate America, I landed a role at Condé Nast, not in the role that I'm in currently, but it was a more junior role that helped me figure out what I wanted to do within this new world, uh, the entertainment. And so I did a few things. Um, and ultimately I landed this role. And to be honest, it was, I'm summing it up really quickly, but because the story is very long guys, but to be, what I did was I, set my intentions, I went after them, and I didn't take no for an answer. 